Today, we're gonna test how much you love animals because it's Animal Tuesday! <laughs> I'm Sasha Wood, and this is IO2. Yesterday, Sandra asked you guys, what's the strangest disease you've ever heard of? And these were the strange diseases that you guys had seen. Today's common question of the day is, what's your favorite animal? Well, for those of you who love dogs, you will not love the lychee and dog meat festival that happens in Yulin in Guangxi province. This festival occurred on June 21st of 2015. A Chinese spokesperson has stated, the summer solstice lychee and dog meat festival is a commercial term. The city has never officially organized a dog meat festival. They also stated that the vendors have to follow the meat laws for the area. However, this does not stop dog meat from being sold, as this is not very harshly enforced. An animal lover, Yang Jiao Young, age 65, actually spent over 700 pounds of his own money to go and rescue dogs from the dog market that day. If any of you are interested, an online campaign has begun to attempt to ban the festival. It already has over 3.8 million signatures. Now for those who need to pick me up after that, onto some happier news about dogs. Gordon, a deaf pit bull, is learning science language. This lovable pit bull has had a hard time being adopted due to the fact that he is deaf and so owners are afraid they won't be able to train him because he can't hear commands. So trainers at the Mayhew Animal Home have taken it into their own hands to train him using treats as motivation and actually he's getting pretty good. He can roll over, shake, and even speak on command. Looks like adoption isn't far off for this dog. And it looks like in some cases dogs may be easier to train than people. Let's go up to Canada. Up in British Columbia, in in the most stereotypical video probably ever filmed in Canada, a man was filmed jumping onto the back of a moose. In his drunken stupor, he decided it would be a great idea to mount the animal as it was galloping into the water. <laughs> Aside from proving all negative stereotypes about Canadians, it was also dangerous for man and moose. So please, don't get drunk and ride a moose. Animals are so amazing and there are just so many stories about them and that's why we're going to continue to bring you all of them here on Animal Tuesday and IO2. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. More videos over there and we'll catch you next time. Bye!